It's Tuesday, November 12th, 2013. This is the International Space Station Flight Control Room. Welcome to Space Station Live on this day, the first day uh, following uh, Veterans Day, and also uh, the arrival and departure of three crew members at the International Space Station. This flight control team uh, today is being led by uh, Veteran Flight Director Ed Van Sice. He's joined by Mark Reagan, you see to his uh, right. He's serving as the spacecraft communicator, the communications link between Houston and the crew aboard the International Space Station. Uh, that crew currently six, uh, went from six to nine and back to six, um, in all in the span of about six days um, with the uh, departure of three crew members after 166 days in space and they left behind uh, this member, or this uh, six-member crew that you see under command of Oleg Kotov, Russian cosmonaut, as a commander of Expedition 38 now aboard the International Space Station. Uh, he's joined by Sergei Ryazansky and uh, U.S. astronaut Mike Hopkins there on the uh, right side of the crew logo. On the left side, the three newest arrival uh, crew members uh, having arrived uh, just a few days ago, six days in fact, uh, Mikhail Turin, Rick Mastracchio, and Koichi Wakata representing the uh, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. So a multinational crew uh, that makes up six crew members aboard the station. Uh, three crew members have been there 48 days, the newest three six days now. And then inside the uh, U.S. laboratory, as uh, crew members, the three newest crew members, spend some time throughout their day acclimating themselves to the new uh, environment of living in space uh, rather than just visiting for short duration missions. You see uh, Mike Hopkins and Rick Mastracchio, they are uh, working directly with the ground on the water recovery management uh, system, the condensate pumping system as part of that uh, elaborate, intricate environmental control and life support system of the International Space Station. Um, it's not uh, malfunctioning. They are basically in the process of activating a high flow fluid transfer pump that's designed to transfer fluid uh, from the uh, to the waste water bus system. Uh, power is uh, provided from one of the what's known as express racks um, aboard the station. And uh, so they've been working with that uh, for uh, a short period of time uh, in the second half of their day uh, aboard the station. This is in the um, laboratory uh, of the uh, or actually a little further back than the laboratory in the Harmony module of the International Space Station, just where um, the uh, connecting point to the uh, European Laboratory Columbus and the Japanese Laboratory Kibo uh, is located. In the far distance, you see stowage bags against what is uh, known as a pressurized mating adapter. Uh, that is a uh, basically a docking port that's uh, currently uh, not required for any visiting vehicle traffic. The uh, six crew members uh, of Expedition 38 uh, uh, are uh, in uh, great shape, and they uh, have been working since midnight uh, U.S. Central Time, and they'll go to bed about 3.30 in the afternoon um, uh, Central Time as well. Uh, throughout the day, um, the crew members divide and conquer with some experiment work, um, some adaptation uh, training for uh, getting acclimated to their new environment, and uh, obviously uh, conducting uh, some daily planning conferences with the ground and their uh, routine exercise plans as they get uh, well acquainted with one another uh, for the next um, roughly uh, three months or so.